What's going on everyone? Dion here, back with another video. Uh, today I've got the Asus ROG Strix Arion. Uh, it is a sort of build your own um, portable hard drive enclosure. Um, and I bought this for, I don't know if, if you guys watching this have seen my previous videos, but I did an upgrade on my laptop for storage. So I have this old um, Samsung 970 EVO Plus SSD. And then I also made another video. I got a cheaper, um, I think it's Orico um, portable hard drive enclosure. And I'm gonna be using this for the Raspberry Pi. This one I'm gonna be using for like um, storage of like maybe some games and whatnot. Um, but anyway, let's get into this. So I bought this off Amazon. I think it was like $58 before tax. Um, and I mean, it does look a lot cooler than some of the other ones out there. Uh, this one, this Orico one, I believe was $23 and it comes in like a few different colors. This one is a bit expensive. Um, but it does accept uh, NVMe drives only, not at, not SATA based SSDs, but it will accept um, M key SSDs, which is what this Samsung one is, if it focuses, and it'll accept M and B key ones, which is the ones that have the little slot on both sides. Um, but I figured this would be nice to have um, carry around, you know, with school and whatnot. Anyway, let's hop into opening it up. Uh, it comes in a nice, pretty nice box. Um, some good labeling on it. Tells you what you get. You get a Type-C to Type-C cable, a Type-C to Type-A cable, and a pin ejector. Um, you also get a protective like bump case, goes around it, and then a little like carrying strap. Um, this is just, in all the different languages and then it tells you the dimensions and whatnot and operating system um, compatibility and then also it's 10 gigabits per second but I believe that's only for type C to type C um, I think when you do um, USB when you do the type C to type A I believe you're limited to um, I think it's three or 600 megabits per second. I don't remember fully. Anyway, let's hop in. Really nice packaging. Well, I gotta say off the bat, this does have some pretty good weight to it. Um, and it doesn't even have a drive in it. This one, this Orico one does have a drive in it, and it's this Asus one is significantly heavier. But then again, this is made out of all metal. Um, this entire thing is made out of metal. Uh, and it even, you see this little cutout here, this even lights up um, with the Aorus lighting or Aura lighting. It says it on the box, Aura Sync, um, which will be cool. So let's get further into that. Underneath the box you get the little SIM removal tool, which I'll get into that in a minute. And then in the very bottom you get the carrying strap, which is a, just an R, but you know, you could put it on like your belt loop or your backpack. And then this is that little bump case that goes around the um, the enclosure to like protect it from drops and whatnot. And it also has that strap, which is what this would connect to. You just Velcro it. Connect it to that. All right, let's open this up and take a look at it. A really nice design feels really rugged and I mean it is all metal the entire thing is metal except for I think this this is plastic but that's just because of that's where the RGB is I 
Now, just to note, if you didn't want to use the thump case, I believe you can still connect this up to here if you wanted to and like just hook it to your backpack that way. I'm just going to use the bump case just because it's better to have it than to not have it, to be honest. Um, gives a little bit of extra drop protection and whatnot, which is fine considering it's um, solid state storage. It's not volatile storage like an actual hard drive is. Um, all right, so let's grab this SIM removal tool. And from a lot of things that I read online, this is like the same tool that comes with the uh, ROG phones. grab that and to open this up because if you notice there's no tools or no screws or anything to open it up you're going to take this pin the sim removal tool and put it in that little pin hole right there and just push in and this bottom bit will open now be careful because it's not the the, it's not the side with the um, light up ROG symbol. It's the other side with no, nothing on it that opens up. And it just pops open like that. And it's fully removable too, so you're fine there. Looking on the inside, it's got um, a lot of thermal pads, which this needs, I imagine, because this other one that I have, this Orico one, gets so hot that you can't actually touch this heat sink so i imagine that this one will need a lot beefier cooling um and this is only a small ssd if you look in there it's only a 2230 size so 30 millimeter um my or, uh, nvme ssd and this one i know for a fact gets really hot um so that will definitely be needed but if you look i think it fits what is it, 2230, 2242, I don't remember what this size is. Imagine like it's 60 or so, and then 2280 SSDs, NVMe SSDs. Um, there's not a whole lot else on here. You can't really see anything else. You get your Type-C port on there at the bottom, and then you can't see any of the lighting really, but that's going to be on the other side, but I think, I think that's for LEDs, there you go, or LED, f oh, there you go, so I think this lights up as too, this little plastic bit up at the top, and then it just has some, like, protective tape on it, um, anyway, installing a drive is going to be really simple, just, you know, don't, don't insert it, like, parallel like that, you want to take it and you want to line up the little channels at an angle like this and then just not a whole lot of force but just lightly and equally press in and then it'll just naturally sit like this so even if you push it down a bit it'll want to pop back up that's just the way that they are they only really stay down when you have the screw inserted and a lot of people have complained like, oh, they didn't in in, uh, include a screwdriver or anything like that. I'm gonna remove this for a minute. They didn't include a screwdriver or anything. How am I supposed to undo this? Well, one, it's got nice grips on it, so you could undo it by hand. At least for the first one, what you do get is the SIM removal tool. The reason that it's like that is because you can use it to unscrew this. Just get that started and you can finish it by hand. And realistically, you don't need to put a whole lot of like um, power into screwing this down because um, you don't want to damage the, the drive. Um, now this, it is one of those screws where if it focuses, it's got the little channel in it and the channel just goes right in that. And then you're gonna screw that down. So you're gonna reinsert that into there. And you'll hear a nice little click. And then you wanna take that out and get it situated just like this. 
push it down, and then you can start to screw it in. And look, that's all the way down by hand. There is going to be a little bit of play. That's just how they work. I mean, even the one I put in my laptop, it has a different mounting bracket, but it's got a thing that like holds over it and three different parts and holds it down. Even that has some play. Um, and you could, if you wanted to, take this and try and screw it down even more, but that actually didn't even move. So that's all good there. And then you have to take this and I believe, yeah, these, this is for the, the motherboard of the device too. This thing must get real hot. Um, but if you look where the, um, thermal pads go, this one goes, this front one goes on this bit. And I don't know if that's the controller, I'd assume, or something like that. And then this back bit goes on the actual SSD modules, I believe is what those are. Um, and to reattach it, you can just sort of set it on one side and then just push over and you should get a nice, nice satisfying click when it's all back together. So it looks like it's together, but there is a bit of a gap. So I'm wondering if that's normal or if that's because of the new thermal pads. Let me double check. Oh, oh, that's fine. I guess it's just because of the, this is the, the hinge side. So there's going to be a little bit of play even when those things are in the hinge, um, which is normal. It's, it's not a bad thing. Um, and then installing this little case that's included, uh, just want to make sure that you line up that type C port with the cutout on the actual case. And just slip it over. Maybe it's be better to do from the top. And it is rubber, so you can, there's a bit of stretch to it. You don't have to worry about like damaging it or whatnot. This is a little difficult for me because I'm trying to do it through, through the camera. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, Alrighty, there you go. You just gotta like get this side on and then you kind of have to sort of work your way around the edges until it goes on like that. Anyway, there's that and just to show that little strap. We just loop through this. And it's Velcro, so it would just Velcro back onto itself like that. And then you could just no. What I'm gonna do is hook this onto the side of my um my backpack that I use like when I take to school. Well, whenever um classes like resume, whenever college resumes, um, and uh, I'll just leave it like hooked on that. And um, it's Type C, so I could use it with my Note 20 or my laptop. Um, but I'm planning on just having a bunch of folders and whatnot on there. I'm gonna have like, you know, Word documents, PDFs, music, videos, essentially having it as like a, a backup of all my important stuff. So I'll probably take like any school projects or um, things that I, I'm working on and just move them onto here. I might even use uh, I've debated using this second one because it's half a terabyte. I've debated using this second one as like a, I was gonna do like a cloud storage um, with the this Raspberry Pi, but what I might do is instead um, 
use this to store like the video the unedited video files for like the youtube videos that i put out just so i have them as like a backup i'm not too sure yet um and then i might buy i know they make like a i think it's called a nas um the nas pi is the case name i'm really not sure but it's like it's essentially a raspberry pi case where there's a raspberry pi in the bottom and then you could fit like four hard drives two and a half inch hard drives or ssds above it um which would be cool um but this has been an unboxing and sort of overview of the asus rog strix arian um or arian i'm not sure how you pronounce that um anyway if you like this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe i'm trying to put out a lot more videos um Previous ones on my channel you should check out are going to be the uh, Orico SSD enclosure, which is a sort of a toolless design. Um, works really well, you know, fits real well in the pocket if you need to take it with you. Um, and then I also have another recent video of me upgrading my laptop, uh, which you could check out just in case you want to upgrade yours yourself. Um, but thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.